Hello everyone! In this video, we will be adding and subtracting radicals. Before we look into this example right here, we need to remember a very important rule in adding and subtracting radicals. Radicals can only be added or subtracted when the radicands are the same. So radicand is the number that's inside the radical symbol. So 150 is a radicand and then 294 is a radicand. So since these two radicands that we have here are not the same, so we cannot add these two, like just adding them like an integer. So what are we going to do is we are going to simplify this uh, to um, radicals. So I'm going to show the work right here on how to simplify. So let's start with the square root of 150. So I'm going to write square root of 150 right here. So what are we going to do is we're going to divide 150 with a prime number. So we start with dividing it by 2. If it doesn't work, we divide it by 3. If it doesn't work, we can divide it by 5. So let's start with 2. So 150 divided by 2 equal to 75 and 2. So if we multiply 75 times 2 is 150. So we square root these two. And then if we have uh, 75, so we can divide this by 3. So this would come out uh, 25 times 3 is 75. So that's a square root. And this 25 can be divided by 5. So we can go ahead and write uh, 5 and 5. So that's a square root. So then these are the leftover. These are the uh, leftover right here. So we're going to rewrite these uh, numbers in here. So we're, we're going to start with the ones that are doubles. So that would be square root of 5. And then we have times um, square root of 5 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. No, square root of 2. So what are we going to do next is we pair them up. So pair up these two. So that would be square root of 5 times square root of 5 would be square root of 25 times these two are not the same. So we still have to, um, we just have to multiply them. So that would be square root of 6. And square root of 25 is 5. So I can go ahead and write 5 square root of 6. So this is the simplified uh, version of square root of 150. Now let's do the same thing for uh, 294. Okay, so I simplified 294 and it came out to be this numbers right here. Okay, so square root of 294 is 7 square root of 6. So pretty much 150 can be rewritten as 5 square root of 6. Plus, we have the other one right here is 7, 294 is 7 square root of 6. So this is 7 square root of 6. Now, as you can see here, both of these two expressions have the same radicand. Again, the rule is radicals can only be added or subtracted when the radicands are the same. So both radicands are 6, so then we can go ahead and add only the coefficient. So we keep this, we only add the coefficient. So this would come out 12, so 5 plus 7 is 12, and then we keep this square root of 6. So that's 12 square root of 6 is the sum of these two radicals right there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, since the radicands of these two are not the same, we cannot subtract them. So what are we going to do is we are going to simplify this uh, radicals right here. So we're going to start with 338. So that would be square root of 338. So again, we divide it by 2. So we start with 2. So this works with 2 since it ends up with 8. So this is 169 times 2. So that's a square root. And then 169 is divisible by 13. So that would be 13 and 13. That gives us 
169. And so these are the leftover. So 13, 13, and um, 2. So then this would come out square root of 13 times square root of 13 times square root of 2. So pair them up. Square root of 13 times square root of 13 is square root of 169 times square root of 2. Square root of 169 is pretty much 13. So we can just go ahead and write 13 square root of 2. So this is the simplified version of um, square root of 338. And let's have the square root of 72. Okay, so I simplified square root of 72. It came out 6 square root of 2. So what are we going to do is we will have this with in its, uh, in its simplified form. That's 13 square root of 2 minus 72 is 6 square root of 2. So they, they already have the same radicand. So the radicand is 2. So then we can go ahead and subtract only the coefficient. So 13 minus 6 is 7 and then we keep the radicand that's square root of 2 and this is the difference between these two radicals up there. Did you get 7 square root of 2 as your answer to this problem right here? Good! Perfect! If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!